Welcome to the Daily Guidance Meditation Podcast with the Realized Master. These meditation talks were recorded during intensive spiritual retreats with Sadhguru Siriyaji. Therefore, they might contain some specific teachings and wisdom for life to be taken into consideration. Each recording begins with a mantra to bring you into a favorable condition for the inner journey. This initial mantra is followed by a brief talk in which the process of meditation is explained to you. After the talk, keep meditating at least for 15 minutes and if you like it, continue, increasing the time by and by as you proceed. So now you are left with nothing else to do but close your eyes, relax, listen and let meditation happen. Satna 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 Satnam Radasu Ami Radasu So Radha so
Sveiki, buvo sumonat, tai jūs esat. For us human beings, who have a limited span of time, we can't allow ourselves to do every possible thing in life. We have to choose which direction to go. And uh, spend our time mostly trying in that direction. So in order to achieve union with the beloved one has to leave worldly desires or at least reduce them. If you pretend to do all possible things in this world, then we won't have time to dedicate our spiritual practice. Which is the way to achieve union with the Beloved. So a spiritual person, somebody that really cares about experience, experiencing something real in life, then he would get up every morning, as Guru Arjan says, before sunset, get ready with the body and the body needs, Then sing songs in praises of the Supreme Being, the Supreme Sadhguru, and then try to go deep in meditation, just as we are doing here now. Trying to find one's peace, trying to Relax <clears throat> all these body tissues by which our body is composed, muscles, tendons, joints. And this is so beneficial for the body because sleep doesn't really relax us. It's important to sleep, but often when we get up from sleep, we are more tired than when we went to sleep. So if we don't sit in meditation trying to consciously relax all these parts of our body, we don't really relax. So it must be a conscious attempt to find one's peace. To fully relax, fully focus and concentrate and by His grace manifest the inner light. It may seem a non-important thing for an outer observer, but for the one who does the practice and does it with all of his being, the benefit is very much. Maybe we won't fly into the inner planes because we are not ready for it. Because that's the thing, if you are not ready, it doesn't happen. But at least we relax our body, we still our mind, 
which is a is an engine that keeps running madly all day long and even in sleep with dreams and nightmares. So at least we sit in meditation and we find our peace. It's so beautiful. But still in the mind, you get some bright ideas, maybe some bright intuitions. If you feel some uh, bliss, some joy, which has no outer motivations, it just springs up inside of us. And if you're lucky enough, then you experience some ecstasy, state of intoxication. Then we feel so good, wonderful. So even if we don't have these inner flights into the inner realms, meditation is always very beneficial. People who do meditation, their mental faculties stay quite bright until the end. Otherwise, so many problems to arise, sickness. We lose our memory, we lose our capacity of reasoning. But this never happens to a good meditator. I've seen Master Kapal, 80 years old, giving such speeches for an hour and a half. With such a memory. Such a clarity. So let's try to gather at the eye focus fully, completely. Let's steadily look in the center. Let's keep repeating the Simran. Let's try to avoid thinking of anything. No fantasies, no memories. Just a conscious being. Just pure consciousness. To who we are. So we pray your Supreme Sadhguru to help us finding our peace. <laughs>